I have Regal Cinemas in my backyard in, in Nevada, and I go all the time, so thank you for having me. Nick, you've been living at the Sunset Tower for over a year. They love having me there. You owe them $600,000. Okay, I'm gonna deal with all that. But I'm gonna get this next roll. And when I do, all of that changes. It is such an honor to speak with you, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, thanks for having me. Regal Movies, is that also affiliated with Regal Cinemas? Yes, we are uh, Regal Cinemas. Yeah, I, I, I have I have Regal Cinemas in my backyard in, in Nevada, and I go all the time, so thank you for having me. Amazing, and can you call me next time you go? We can make this happen. Okay, I will. <laughs> I am so fascinated about how this film came to be. What were your thoughts when you found out that two strangers were writing a movie about you playing yourself, and what made you say yes? Well, my first two thoughts were shock and horror, and I said yes because what I was worried about, that it would lapse into like a Lorne Michaels, Andy Samberg mock parody became something a bit more intelligent and sensitive because Gormican, the, the director, wrote me a letter that really demonstrated he was a genuine film enthusiast who was interested in some of the earlier work and he wanted to tell a story about people, not caricatures. And that's what put the hook in. There he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. You. This makes me so happy on so many levels. You have no idea. Oh, good. So good. Good. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. You both wrote this script without ever knowing or meeting Nicolas Cage. So mm -hmm. talk about unbearable weight. What happens if he said no? Oh, man. Oh, that was kind of it for us. <laughs> I think that was, you know, we said that a, a friend of ours came in and we were writing the script and, and, and he read it and he goes, if he doesn't do this, he's like, this, this is such a colossal waste of time. He was like, as a pure business decision, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone do. And we thought, yeah, yeah, that feels right. What about Gone in 60 Seconds? Have you seen Croods too? No, I'm 44 years old. Why the fuck would I see Croods too? I've seen Face Off. And Con Air. This is the the coolest movie that I mean, first of all, that one of the coolest movies I've ever seen in my life. Definitely the coolest movie I I could have asked to be a part of. So, I, it's been incredible, and the whole cast. It's like you couldn't find a more lovely, professional, talented, funny group of people ever. People went absolutely nuts when you have Nicolas Cage making out with a <laughs> younger version of Nicolas Cage. Please walk me through how that went down. As scripted, that scene was the Nicky lifts Nick up and he kisses him on the cheek and Nick came to Kevin and I uh, early that day and he said, I've got an idea for you. And he said, I think uh, Nicky should uh, deeply French kiss Nick in this scene. And we were like, looked at each other and both went, yes, of course, that's the best idea. And so we ended up pivoting. And, uh, and so there's an, it, you know, it's, it's an idea you're not gonna get from any other actor, right? It's so outlandish, we wouldn't even think to ask him to do that. But that's what you get with Nicolas Cage. It's <laughs> You go! I'll never forget you, Rams! Not only are you playing yourself, but you're playing a younger version of you, right? Yeah. Looking back at your storied career, I'm curious, what do you think that version of Nick Cage, the younger coming up in the biz, would think about where you ended up today in the in the cultural lexicon, and, and what would he think about this movie? Well, I think that Nicky would, would love the movie. I really do. I also think that Nikki, genuine Nikki, would uh, say, you did it. I remember when you and I were watching Midnight Cowboy for the first time on a little Zenith television in your grandma's house, in DB's house, and you, it broke your heart, and you made a movie like Pig, and you did it. You know, I, I think he would be happy. What was the most Nick Cage thing you ever saw Nick Cage do on set? <laughs> Well, I mean, in that very same scene, when he says the very long F-bomb. I'm Nick fucking! Okay! 
sketch. He, he, we call cut, and I sort of took the headphones off, and he comes over and he said, I wanted it to be transcendent. <laughs> I thought that's the most Nick Cage thing that's ever happened. In this movie, you play Nicholas's daughter, right? And you are, of course, the daughter of some famous actors. So I wonder for you, did you pull anything from your personal life into this film? Yeah, I mean, definitely on sort of a baseline level, of course. Like, there, there, there are a lot to, to compare and contrast there, but I think... Definitely the task for me, like as an actor, that was really fun was to find those uh, contradictions between mine and Addie's lives. Um, and there were a lot more than I thought. You know, at the base, really all we have in common is is having famous parents, you know? And, and from there, every relationship is different, and especially in show business, every relationship is different. Kevin, it was so lovely to meet you. Nice to um, meet you. Tom, I am so proud of you. I wish I Thank could be there in much. person to congratulate you, but for now, this will happen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Amazing. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that. <laughs> love the you, best. Tom. The Congrats, best, guys. This movie's incredible. Thanks. <laughs> and on behalf of everybody at Regal Movies, thank you for your four-decade long run of, of entertaining audiences. Please come to Regal in your backyard. Thank and you. uh, what, do you, what do you think audiences can expect from this movie? Well, I'm glad you asked. And go to the Regal Cinemas, because what's going to happen is you're going to have an experience like I have when I saw the movie in Austin. It's like a return to what it used to be. We're all going to be laughing together. You're going to feel like you're with an audience. And by the end of the movie, that audience is going to be your family because you will have shared laughter and you will have shared some emotion together. And it's a beautiful experience. Please go. You're, I, I promise you, I'm not going to lie. I, you will be happy. And bring a date. Perfect. Uh, Nicholas Cage, I will see you at Regal. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so you. much.